Hello YouTube, Mike Walgman here, Mushroom Rangers, and today I'm going to show you, just like I told you, my mixing area, my steam sterilizers, my spinning barrel. So, without further ado, here is my steam sterilizer. As you can see, it's just a regular old uh, water heating element from Lowe's. I drilled a hole, uh, four holes for the bolt. Uh, one hole for the actual element and then you just go get uh, one of the uh, couplers or bracket uh, I use uh, RTV gasket maker. I drilled the holes put that on let it sit overnight Maybe 48 hours that way it uh, it cures and then I stick the uh, heating element in there uh, Bolt it bolt it tight and then add more RTV and attach a cord pretty simple and then basically what I do is just uh, I'll get some of this uh, sticky sort of insulation from Lowe's and I'll run it on the outside of the barrel and I have some uh, empty plastic barrels I cut them in half and then I wrap it around and then tape it and add a couple more layers of this. Uh, works really good. I usually let them sit for, once I start it, I let them sit for 24 hours, let them steam sterilize for 24 hours. And then I'll shut her down and let them sit for a week to cool down. And uh, basically this is just my insert. I beefed it up, I cut a barrel in half and then in half again, drilled some holes then drill the hole in there so that that hole fits down just like that and then I'll fill the water up to right about here uh, stack the blocks in there I can fit seven per layer uh, 28 blocks per barrel so I have two barrels running right now well I will be having two barrels running right now I'll be adding a third one um, I will do a video on that on how to make actually how do I make them um, so I can get 56 bags 56 eight pound bags um, works pretty good here's my spinny barrel this is how I mix my substrate five gallon bucket of raw sawdust and then I use a bucket of that wheat bran so basically what I'll do is I'll one bucket of wheat bran one bucket of sawdust, one bucket of wheat bran, one bucket of sawdust, one bucket of wheat bran, one bucket of sawdust. Uh, so it's like six, six buckets of wheat bran, or seven buckets of wheat bran and six buckets of raw sawdust. And I put it in there dry. I spin it end over end. And then I just mix her up. And then I add water with a garden hose. Mix it spin 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 till I hear it go thump 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 and then I'll leave it turned upside down this side pointed down and then what I'll do is I'll just wait till I start to see water dripping out of it when I see water dripping out of it then I know it's right about field capacity a little bit over which is where I want it to be and then I'll take my bucket as such it's not exact pretty simple I just keep doing that until I get 28 bags and then I'll put them in a the steam sterilizer uh, this contraption, very simple. Got this cone at Lowe's, cut it off, build this little contraption. So I put the bags on there. It works really well when the wind doesn't blow. When the wind blows, it'll just blow these bags right off. I'll be upgrading to a pneumatic mixer barrel type 
where I have it. I had a 55 gallon drum that I cut in half and then I cut a section out of another 55 gallon metal drum and as I just extended it so the metal drum is now two feet long and then I'll just use some parts from Jan, uh, Brandon Janowski uh, I got this idea from him if you look up his video it's Substrate Mixer Brandon Janowski uh, shout out to him for showing me how to build one he didn't really show me I just seen the videos and I just put two and two together did some research uh, this idea about this I got this idea from Myers Mushrooms so shout out to Myers Mushrooms he used a five gallon bucket from Lowe's and cut it and then sort of just shaped it into a funnel I went with this because it's already a funnel uh, and it's pretty simple it, like I said most of the stuff is really cheap I got the barrels get the barrels from that lady uh, each five gallon or 55 gallon barrel 50, cost me 15 bucks and they're they have lids um, as you can see for this one I use a pressure gauge but it's not necessary it's just to tell me that there is actually no pressure so these are a no pressure steam sterilizer this just lets steam out if I would shut it obviously it would build steam but then it would just escape out the side so this is a zero pressure uh, Josh Schindler when I took his class in Oregon uh, I was uh, build, building the prototype of one of these um, and it had pressure and he told me that even a half pound of pressure can kill so um, that's why I do no pressure for this one this one right here I have a lid that I have a bunch of holes drilled in so it'll just it'll just steam it's basically just like boiling a pot of water water gets up to 220 degrees so after about 24 hours I'll have come down click that switch walk away wait a week unload them inoculate them and come back out here and run some more bags uh, I'm eventually gonna have four barrels running that way I can have a constant flow um, right now most of my bags that are in the colonization room are ready to go into the fruiting chamber so I gotta put all these in there these are about a week or two behind so all these bags are going in the colonization room. I got more grain spawn on the way. This has to go in the fridge for about a week until I can get my other, my other bags sterilized. And then I'll inoculate them. So again, another quick video on how I do things here on the mushroom farm. So stay tuned. And if you can't learn from me, check out Mossy Creek Mushrooms.